Hello everybody, this is Monster. And today I wanted to show off a cool little bug slash feature in Beta 173, and that is the Eternal Furnace. Now that's just what I call it. I'm sure someone will come up with a better name, but it's a furnace that stays lit forever. As you can see, it's on. There's particles coming out, but it's not actually cooking anything. And it'll stay like this forever. It doesn't matter if you update a block next to it, it won't go out. And this obviously has a lot of implications. You can use it in all kinds of creative building as a hidden light source. It's just a cool little gimmick. So let me show you how to make it. So I want the furnace to be right here. So I'm going to put a piston there, a furnace here. I'm going to power the piston, okay? And then I'm going to start cooking something in here. I'm just using sticks and cobble because it's cheap. And it'll actually push it out. And there you go, it's eternally lit. The reasoning behind this is confusing, but essentially an unlit furnace and a lit furnace are two separate blocks, at least in this version. I don't know how it is in the future. Cooking something in it causes it to shift between uh, the two different blocks and uh, messing with the piston can cause this to happen. It briefly becomes a, a movable tile entity. So cooking something in here, it still functions, will actually uh, turn it off once it's done cooking. And now it's a normal furnace. It still functions as a normal furnace, it's just a visual glitch. And you'll notice when I just made this, it automatically faced this way. Even if I didn't place it facing that way. A lot of weird mechanics behind the rotation of the block. You can control the rotation of the furnace. Usually it faces positive Z or direction zero, which is that way. That's the default. But you can easily control the direction of the furnace by pressing it up against the block. So let's say I wanted it to face this way. So here's what I would do. Put a block here, put a piston there, a furnace here, power it, light it up, and there you go. It'll face away from whatever block you push it against. So if I put a block there, it'll face this way and vice versa. Also, when you're firing up the furnace, it'll delete whatever you're putting in it when it's creating the eternal furnace. So just be careful in what you use. That's why I'm using this cheap material. For those that are curious about the finer elements of rotation in this thing, uh, let's introduce some conflicts of interest. It gets a little confusing. So let's fire it up. And it still faces this way. Let's say I removed this one and then press it in. Now which way does it face? It faces this way. And most of the time it'll face positive Z like how it does when there's no blocks. And when there's conflicts of interest, more than one block surrounding it, it also depends on which way the piston is pushing it from. It's it's confusing. There's just so many combinations and it's not very consistent, at least the way that I can understand. So just the easiest way to control the rotation of the furnace when you create it is to do a single block surrounding it. See? Easy. More than one block seems to mess things up. One more thing to note, as far as I can tell, it ignores slab blocks. A single slab or a double slab. So you think it would face away from this, but in this case, it shouldn't. See? It continues to face that way. The code's a little janky, it just ignores this type of block, and I'm sure it ignores others. So just make sure you're using a solid, normal block when trying to pull this off. So, this is something that I've built that actually utilizes the Eternal Furnace as a lighting source. I built this on the back to beta server, and it's a tree farm in the shape of a pyramid, otherwise known as the world's most inefficient tree farm. Let's go take a look. Basically, I thought it would look really cool to make it in the shape of a pyramid, and then I started thinking it would be cool to make it look like a janky pyramid. So that's what it turned out to be. But yeah, here it is. This is the whole tree farm. So yeah. I used the trick that I was talking about earlier to make sure only the back side of these furnaces was showing on all sides. And I think it turned out really well. This thing certainly looks cool. It works horribly, but it does look very cool. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off to you guys. Maybe you'll find it interesting. Deadly Dirt Block helped me understand some of the information surrounding this. So big thanks to him. And uh, I'll see you all next time.